gonna trip me out how they body just fall apart like that. Boy, these video games are lucky. It's a great way to work off your aggression. And Bernie Mac got a lot of aggression. You know Bernie Mac's situation. My sister, you know, she's taking a state sponsor vacation. You know, she got a little problem with drugs. Now, my wife, Wanda, and I, we taking care of her kids. Don't remind me. Them doggone kids. I like to tear their doggone head off. Blast them to a million pieces. Shut them up for good. Ah! Ah! <laughs> now, hold on a minute. I know what you think. And you wrong. Bernie Mac is not a violent man. This is what Bernie Mac does to relax. Because in real life, we don't sell our differences this way. That would be wrong. We're not animals. Despite a reputation for being solitary, wolves are seldom without company. And when they hunt, they hunt in packs. Jordan, what are you doing in the house watching TV? It's beautiful outside. You think we live in Los Angeles for the culture? I'm watching the Discovery Channel. Son, you can watch this crap anytime. Now go outside and meet some of the boys. No, I want to see what happens. The line eats the hyena. Now give me this glass and go outside and enjoy yourself. Can get a stay in no dog house. When the wolf pack spies a prospective prey, it moves in unison, cautiously surrounding it, searching for signs of weakness, sensing an opening. The pack works as a unit to keep the prey confused and off balance. When ready to move in for the kill, the first attack is made by the strongest member of the pack. This is the Alpha Wolf. Down right there. Man, those kids gonna wind up being your best friend. You watch, see, you watch. A fight? Damn. Man, was he hurt? No, no, just tell him I'm on my way. See, the problem is, Jordan, my nephew, he's small for his age. And like most small kids where I come from, they constantly get picked on. But I'm gonna tell you something, you ain't got to be big to be tough. You look at one all-time boxing grace, Sugar Ray Litter. Over here. <clears throat> What's up, Ray, baby? How you doing? Now, my man Ray, he was small, but he was wiry. He was like the little Japanese cars. I mean, compact, agile, built for speed and had endurance. And I can bet you if someone called him a sis, I had my dollar make change out of his ass. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Let me, <clears throat> I'm excited. Move, let's move on. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, Ray, seriously speaking, from a champion perspective, how would you assess my nephew's skills? Bernie, it, it seems to me that Jordan lacks speed. Uh -huh. This man has zero self-confidence uh -huh. and is totally lacking in fundamentals to make a great fighter. I mean, he's, he, he, he's the loser. So he, he definitely gonna get his ass whooped, man. Oh, I will seriously consider homeschooling. Jordan says that he's sick and doesn't want to go to school tomorrow. Is something going on with him? Mm -mm. Baby, don't worry about it. I'll take care, okay? I want to learn how to fight. Well, you're gonna learn how to fight. Get up. Quit being so difficult. But I'm working on my magic trick. Give me that dog on magic trick. What you gonna do when somebody start picking on you? You gonna disappear? I don't want to. Well, you have to. Now listen, the first thing you need to know about defending yourself is to avoid a fight in the first place. And what I mean by that, man, if somebody start picking on you, you got to show you can take it. You got to come right back and start picking on them. How do I do that? Well, um, you can start by insulting their mama. <laughs> what well, if I don't know his mama? We're talking about universal mamas here, Jordan. It applies to all mamas. You got to be inventive. Dog gone now, Jordan. So if you start hitting on somebody, mama, you got to hit them with hurt. Go for the juggler. If their mama's fat, you got to say something like, your mama's so fat, I poured a half a cup of water in the bathtub, and when she sit down, it overflowed. <laughs> Uncle Bernie, that's me. What if I like his mama? You don't know his mama, Jordan. How you going to like somebody you don't know? What if his mama's dead? 
Mama being dead ain't got nothing to do with it. What you sitting up there talking about my mama dead for? Look here. Forget about it, okay? Forget about it. We're gonna move on. We'll go to plan B. I'm acting crazy. <laughs> Relax, relax. Jordan, Jordan, it's just whipped cream. I'm trying to make a point. So you got to make people think you're crazy. Don't nobody mess with you when you fall. <laughs> Jordan, listen, listen, listen. You got to get loud, man. You got to act weird. Somebody get in your face. You got to make them think like you, like you crazy. How? By your body language, your voice, man. You gotta, people step to you, man. Tell them you better back off. You better back off. No, no, listen, listen to my voice, man. Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me, man. I don't play. I don't play. You better back up. You better back off. Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me, man. I don't play. I don't play. That's a dead boy walking right there. Bernie, teaching that boy that violence is the answer is just wrong. So now I'm not teaching that boy no violence. I'm trying to give him some uh, schoolyard diplomacy. Give him some tactics, man, to keep him from fighting. Baby, I know you. What you mean by that? You, you know that boy needs something, Wanda. He's soft. He is not soft. He is. Jordan is a gentle soul. Oh. He doesn't like fighting. He likes magic tricks. What is it with this dog on magic tricks, man? That's what happened to Houdini. That's how he died. He got his ass kicked over there at the magic shop. The man hit him in the dog on stomach. If he knew some of your mama jokes, he might still be alive today. <laughs> I wish I knew some magic. Card, take it back. Joy, 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 listen to me. Come on now. Come on. You mean to tell me after everything I done showed you, you can't take a toy car from a four year old girl? She's four years old. Now relax. Do what I showed you. Don't mess with me, I'll play. Hey, give it back. Ray, the boy's real soft. I mean soft. He's like liquid, you know. He needs more than fundamentals. He needs something like divine intervention. And that's why I come in. I was teaching my nephew a few playground moves, man, in case he get in trouble. First thing I told him is, if somebody mess with you, you pick up some sand and you throw it in their face. You take off running. That always worked for me when I was little, you know. Or you can improvise, especially if you around some, some objects. Let me see that book. See here? Like this book that I was reading. See, look. I'm reading it. I'm reading, catch your mind in your penis. Somebody come at you, BAM! Hit him right in the throat, right in the throat. Drop the book and start running. Oh, boy, I was dangerous when I was going up, Ray. I'll tell you. Now, not Ray, be honest with me. The few techniques that I just showed you and the people, what do you think my nephew's chances are right now? Don't get too attached to the boy. <laughs>